hi everyone it's your girl alicia welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be making um irish moss gel okay the irish moss or sea moss as um it's called is a um a seed it's a, a vegetable from the um the ocean and it's um in this in its in this state it's dried it's dehydrated and what you do is you have to really really wash it because this thing is loaded with salt and sand right this is what it looks like it's loaded with salt and sand and you're going to this is not enough water i'm going to take this over to the sink and i'm going to wash this baby real good and um then we're going to i'm using two packs I got this in the health food store, Angel's brand, Irish Moss. Um, this Irish Moss is from Jamaica. And um, what Irish Moss is good for you, good for your, um, actually, okay. So, Irish Moss is loaded with vitamins and minerals. When you take a tablespoon of irish moss a day that's like taking your required amount of vitamins for the day okay vitamins and minerals just a tablespoon of the irish moss gel is equivalent to a full your full amount of vitamins and minerals for the day of course you need to eat other natural foods and stuff but irish moss has well the body needs 102 vital vitamins and minerals and guess what drum roll people irish moss have 92 of those minerals and vitamins all right um so this is some good stuff comes naturally out of the ocean so it's extremely salty it smells like the ocean it smells kind of raw so what i like to do after i wash this i like to squeeze a little bit of um fresh lemon juice on it and you have this baby soaking overnight we're going to go over to the sink right now and we are going to give this Irish moss a really good wash. When I come back, we'll be washing this baby in the sink and I'll show you all the dirt and salt that comes off of it. So when you take the Irish moss over into the sink, you're really going to give it a good wash. I put my spray hose on in the sink and I'm going to wash this baby thoroughly because you really need to get all that sand it's going to be like sea sand out of all the crevices and corners because then when you make your irish moss smoothie you don't want to be crunching on um on sand okay so really good rinse and i put it in a sieve all right There we go, giving our Irish moss a good rinse. And I'm going to show you on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, but on the bottom of the plate, you'll see the sand and debris that comes in in the Irish moss that you really need to rinse and rinse really well and get, get rid of. So I'm not even going to use the rest of this on the bottom because there's sand and stuff on it. I'm just going to dump it out and wash it. I wash this um, like about three, three or four times because you really want to give it a good rinse and then dump it in a, um, a strainer to wash the water off. What I'm further going to do is just leave this in water fully covered. Okay, fully covered, and this baby's gonna be sitting overnight. You're reconstituting the um, Irish moss, um, rehydrating it with water in the morning, overnight, tomorrow. When you look at it, it's going. It's not gonna look like this. It's gonna be nice and plump and rehydrated, and then um, we'll be ready to um, put it in the blender with a little bit of um, filtered water or bottled water, put it in the blender, and you're gonna blend this baby down to a nice gel. Okay, 
So now I really want to do a comparison and show you the difference in the um the overnight. This is my overnight soaked Irish moss. Look at how nice and rehydrated and hefty those babies are. Okay, and then this is the one that I just did for the camera. Just washed in the sink. See, that's the difference. Compared to... Ta-da! Okay, so this now was soaked overnight and it's ready to be blended. This, I'm going to leave this overnight and I'll do this tomorrow. This one I'll do tomorrow, the one that I just washed. Okay, so I'll take this out of the way. This is what we're going to be working with. What I do because of the ocean smell, I do squeeze a little bit of um, lemon juice on the, um, on the Irish moss. Just to take away a little bit of that ocean smell. So... And along with that, that's the same liquid I am going to be blending the Irish moss in. Okay, so there we go. And I'm even going to put it in because I want the benefit of the um, rind, the um, the oil that's coming from the rind of of the uh, lemon that you know go in there and marinate in the liquid that I'm going to be blending this aloe vera gel in. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna be we're gonna be over by the blender, and we're gonna blend this baby into a gel. Okay, so we're ready to blend. We're gonna remove this lemon skin from the overnight um, uh, Irish moss, and we're gonna pop this in the blender to be blended. I don't want all this water. This is a lot of water. I won't be using all this water. You need just very little water to blend this um, gel. Uh, a little bit of water. And I only used two packs last night because this is all I had in the house. So that's what I soaked overnight. So the other batch that I just put to soak I'll blend it blend that um, tomorrow and put it together um, so I have it in the refrigerator to use all right um, if we need more water we'll add it accordingly but right now just probably about a quarter cup of water wrong cover We're putting this in our Ninja Blender. And we're just going to blend. out like a pasty gel this is how you want it and this is how you're gonna store it in your refrigerator and then once it chills in the refrigerator it's gonna thicken even more let me just get a spatula. I can really scrape my blender Okay, so that's basically it. This is 
this is stored in the refrigerator and you could use this as a thickener for gravies soups to your morning um your morning smoothies as i said this has 92 of the 106 vitamins and minerals vital at that vital vitamins and minerals that the body need comes in this one C vegetable Irish moss so here it is so this gets stored in the refrigerator and used you I don't make it in big batches I make it like this where um, I use it up in like a week and every week I'll make it again so I'll have it fresh each time but this is stored in the refrigerator for whenever you need it um, my next video will be a Irish Marsh Punch. Um, in Jamaica, we call it Put It Back Punch or Front End Lift Up. I'm going to show you how I boil the flax seed and um, um, the um, gum, gum arabic and isinglass. And it's um, mixed with um, almond milk. And it's made into a traditional smoothie that we did in Jamaica. We used to call it a punch. We never called it a smoothie. And it was basically um, mainly geared for men and their um, sexual uh, uh, strength. Um, as a female, I you know, I never really messed with that stuff. But um, the man in Jamaica really believes in it. It's a tradition for male strength. So my next video will be on a Irish Marsh Punch. But this is just a gel heat free. In Jamaica we boil it. But now doing nutrition in school you realize that when you boil a lot of these um, um, uh, 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 herbs and, 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 and plants and stuff, you lose nutrients and you don't want to lose nutrients. You want to make sure that you're um, getting all the nutrients in the body so the body can use it. Some plants you cook and it enhances the nutrients. Some plants you cook and it, you lose nutrients. The water soluble, like the B vitamins and the C's and stuff, you lose when you cook. So this is raw, uncooked Irish moss. Um, I hope you try it and um, please share my video, like my video, and I hope you try my recipes. This is your girl Alicia, one more time. Have a nice day.